my channel. So today I am so excited because today I am partnering with Bob's Red Mill. They are an amazing gluten-free brand and when they decided that they wanted to partner with me, I was over the moon. So today I'm going to bring you a one dough, 20 cookie combination recipe that is going to blow your mind. So normally when you're baking cookies, you probably just make one batch and it's one cookie, but this will give you 20 different cookies. This recipe is really easy, it's quick, it's efficient, and it can appeal to everyone's taste buds. Best of all, it is allergen free because it's nut free, dairy free, and of course, using Bob's Red Mill, it is gluten free. The first thing that we're going to be doing is making the dough. So I have two bowls right here, one for my wet ingredients and one for my dry. You will need both because it makes combining them a lot easier than just putting everything in one bowl. You're just going to grab a one cup measuring cup and some butter. Today I'm going to be using Smart Balance. It's my preferred brand, it's dairy free it's great it's vegan there's 64% vegetable oils I don't really know what that means but I love to eat it fun fact Julia child is actually my distant relative my like 16th cousin or something like that I'm addicted to butter and I'm just gonna say that I blame her she was addicted to butter and you know what just runs in the family while I microwave in the butter just to melt it enough so that it's nice and soft I'm going to be adding in the dry ingredients into this big bowl here I'm going to be adding in a cup of the Bob's red milk flour and then next I'm going to need one and one fourth cup of brown sugar so right here I just have my dry ingredients and my wet ingredients so when you're making anything that includes flour and eggs you always want to make sure that they're separate in different bowls and then you combine them it just helps with clumping and to really form the dough that you're gonna make for your delicious cookies this cookie recipe actually makes 10 very large cookies or if you want to break it down you can have 20 cookies all of the information from this video is actually going to be on my blog so if you want to find the recipe then you can look there or in the description box this is my fiance, isn't he the cutest? Ugh. So you'll know your cookie dough is ready when you can pick it up and kind of form a ball with your fingers. It's a little sticky and it's slightly firm. It is the perfect consistency for gooey and delicious cookies. Right now, I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. You should do this just to let the dough firm up a little bit and get nice and cold before you make them into cookies. So I have all of my cookies out. I have actually a lot left over that I'm just going to pop in the freezer and save for the next time I want to make cookies. And now I'm just going to be putting together all of my different combinations. I reached out to you guys on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and wanted to know what kind of cookie flavors you wanted and I loved all of the ideas that you guys came up with. I actually added in a couple of my own little special treats and I can't wait to show you. So let's get started. We are just going to be making a standard chocolate chip cookie. So I'm going to be taking my chocolate chips here. You want to kind of flatten out your cookie just a tiny bit and you'll mix your cookie together. The second one we're going to be making is chocolate cheesecake. And we're going to be sprinkling in some cocoa and some cream cheese to add in about a teaspoon of cream cheese and a teaspoon of cocoa powder. And then you're going to do the same thing and you'll just mix the doughs together. The next cookie that we're going to be making is my personal favorite and it's chocolate peanut butter, kind of a twist on Reese's, but so much better. We're also going to be adding in some cocoa powder. Then I'm using the sun butter, no sugar added. So then you're going to add in about a teaspoon of this as well. The next cookie we're going to be making is a s'mores cookie. All you're going to need is some graham crackers. You can either use the traditional ones or I have some gluten-free ones right here. You'll need chocolate chips and marshmallows. You're going to grab some graham crackers, chocolate chips, and marshmallows, and you have a campfire worthy cookie, darling. For this birthday cake, you will need vanilla extract and some delicious sprinkles to mimic a birthday cake. It was so good, and you just mix it together. Double chocolate, chocolate chips, and cocoa powder couldn't be more simple than that. Mint chocolate is mint extract with mini chocolate chips. You mix and mix and mix. Dark chocolate pretzel, you add in cocoa powder and crushed pretzels, sea salt is optional. Carrot cake, which was the bomb. Carrot shreddings and some raisins, also super delicious. Classic sugar cookie, roll it up, slap some sugar on that baby and you got yourself a cookie. Snickerdoodle, basically the same 
it's lying. But you just add some brown sugar and that's it. Oatmeal raisin, raisins, and oatmeal. This is pretty self-explanatory. Pumpkin spice cookie, pumpkin spice, pumpkin puree, and cream cheese. Super easy, super good. For the maple cookie, you're just going to add in maple syrup and make sure you add extra dough for this one because it was kind of wet, but also still delicious like all the other cookies. What cookie isn't good? The chocolate peppermint, I cheated and used peppermint hot cocoa and mixed that into that cookie. It was crumbly, but you know, it was fine. Peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and jelly. Straightforward, guys. That is it for this one dough 20 cookie combination video. I really want to thank Bob's Red Mill for partnering with me and allowing me to create all of these delicious cookies. If you recreate any of these, be sure to tag me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and get notified when I post more awesome content. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.